A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am writing you, although I hope to visit you soon. But if I should be delayed, you should know how to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of truth. Undeniably great is the mystery of devotion, who is manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the Spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed to the Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, taken up in glory. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 111 How great are the works of the Lord! I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart, in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. How great are the works of the Lord! Majesty and glory are His work, and His justice endures forever. He has won renown for His wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord! He has given food to those who fear Him. He will forever be mindful of His covenant. He has made known to His people the power of His works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. How great are the works of the Lord! Alleluia! Alleluia! Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia! Alleluia! A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another, We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine, and you said, He's possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 